good job your boy ross back at again with another video so backstage details on plans for brock lesnar versus roman reigns finish at wwe day one i've already made a video talking about how i'm not really too excited about this but apparently some reports have been coming out uh as of today um talking about what is the big plan finish for wwe day one i can tell you this now before even really going into this article you know it's gonna probably end in some type of disqualification or some type of type of way like i'm i'm willing to bet roman and uh, uh the usos are gonna be you know using heel tactics to uh get the win here just so they can continue the feud until wrestlemania that's what it's looking like we'll see what they say in this article but to me that's what it's looking like because it, it, it only makes sense that that's where they're going to take this to the to this feud to continue into WrestleMania because they want to extend this feud, which me personally, not too much into. Let's get into this article. Brock Lesnar and Roman Reigns have clashed on many occasions. This is true. And they last faced off at the Crown Jewel pay-per-view back in October. Reigns retained the Universal Championship when he picked up the win over Brock Lesnar, and it was recently announced that the Tribal Chief will put the title on the line once again when he faces the Beast at the Day 1 pay-per-view next week. The Wrestling, the Wrestling Observer Newsletter reports that Lesnar vs. Roman is designed to have a big finish Ooh, that will leave people wanting a rematch. At this point, the rematch between Brock Lesnar and Roman Reigns is planned to be the WrestleMania main event, which is what I just said, which was probably going to happen. It was also noted that at press time, 6,769 tickets have been sold for day one uh, pay-per-view and the announcement of Reigns versus Lesnar being added to the card moved 531 tickets. The card for WWE Day 1 can be seen below. Uh, the WWE Universal Championship, Roman vs. Brock, the WWE Championship, Big E, Seth Rollins, Kevin Owens, and the SmackDown Tag Team Championship, Usos vs. The New Day, and Edge vs. The Miz. Not going to lie to you, I kind of am a little bit more interested in the Big E, Seth Rollins, Kevin Owens match. I think that's going to be a, a, a good triple threat match. I, I honestly believe that I think that may be the better match i can see that being the better match and i can also see the usos in the new day having a, a pretty good match as well uh the card doesn't seem bad just from what we have right now don't really care for the edge and the miz the promo work has been cool but not really just like hype to see it or whatever but um yeah man the fact that they only moved an extra 531 tickets should let you know people not really that super invested uh, a big feud like that you would think it will move at least a thousand plus tickets but we've seen this how many times how many times have we seen this match it's just the roles have switched sort of now roman's a badass okay cool we just saw this a few months ago so you're gonna basically you're guaranteeing us the same type of ending that's that's all i've gotten from this article this big finish bro unless the fucking ring is ring is about to explode i, I don't know what to say the referee probably get knocked out and it's gonna be some cheating tactics i i don't i don't get it i i it just doesn't excite me. I'm sorry, y'all. I, I want to be positive here. But this particular match on this card for the first pay-per-view of the year does not excite me. And someone made a great point. The Royal Rumble is only a few weeks after that. It's like two, three weeks after that. Why the hell are we having two pay-per-views back-to-back in the same month? That doesn't even make sense to me. That's stupid. It takes away all the buzz and momentum from the Royal Rumble. If anything, there shouldn't be nothing on WWE Day 1. Instead, you should be building to the Royal Rumble. That's it. You got two pay-per-views in the month of January. Tell me why. 
And one of them is your big pay-per-view, the Royal Rumble. You're taking away all the buzz from that to build up for this. For what? Ah, they got to really work on their pay-per-view scheduling. It just doesn't make sense. They don't. We can go some time without a pay-per-view. It's okay to go almost two months without a pay-per-view. It makes you want to end. It's the Royal Rumble. You know people are going to be excited for that. You don't have to rush that. You don't have to put a pay-per-view at the beginning of the year. Just You want to do something different. Wow. You want to do something different, but you're putting on the same main event that we just saw a few months ago with the same people we've been seeing fight each other for the past, I don't know, three, four years now. I'm sorry. Doesn't matter how good Roman is. This is, I don't give a damn. Will the match be entertaining? I'm willing to bet. Will it be a, 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 a train wreck? I'm sure it will. I'm sure they will have a decent match. I don't think the match will be bad. I just think we've already seen it. Unless, like I said, they just blow up the whole ring. The ring just explodes from their mere force. It just, boom, it just blows up. Something. I, I don't know. I don't know, man. This big finish didn't really hype me up any more than what I already know what's about to happen man so i kind of called this a lot of people have called this it's just a bit now we're gonna want to see it more we're gonna want to see them go at it at wrestlemania to be honest with you i don't care what finish they have i'm not gonna be as excited to see them go at it once again at wrestlemania because they've failed to build anyone else credible on smackdown to beat roman that's on wwe's lack of character development for everyone else outside of roman that's their fault so now we're forced to see brock lesnar face roman over and over and over because we ain't got nobody else they screwed up king xavier woods in my opinion he could have been a nice little baby face to try to overcome the odds would he have won maybe maybe not who knows but if you want to make someone believable you gotta give them some believable wins and they didn't do that with him they haven't done that with anything else anybody else all the real potential opponents are on raw smackdown's pretty much got screwed out of the draft so it's like I, yeah man i don't know comment down below let me know with this big finish plan does it really excite you anymore or does it just pretty much be like, oh, wow. So now we know for a fact it's confirmed pretty much that they're going to have another match at WrestleMania. They're going to quote unquote main event WrestleMania this year again. Does, does this big finish really hype you up or does it just make you just say, ah, uh, you're kind of over it. You're kind of over this feud and you're not really, really that excited because me personally, I'm, I'm part of the, I'm not that excited. Even now, knowing this confirms what we've all been uh, believing or, you know, been thinking about that they're going to probably main event again at WrestleMania. Don't know how many times they got a main event at WrestleMania. I I, I, I don't care. I, I'm really hoping Big E, Seth Rollins, Kevin Owens, they still the show because the WWE Championship right now for everyone that's fighting for it, it's more entertaining right now, and I love me some Roman Reigns and his character, but his character is not enough to save the fact that he doesn't really have another viable opponent uh, to face him for the title. So, comment down below. Let me know. Appreciate all the love and support. Road to 70K. Appreciate y'all kicking with me. See y'all next one. Peace.